Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 1991 NBA Finals Game 4 Lakers at Bulls Part 3. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. I'm gonna be eating the lunchable during this one, I'm starving, but let's jump in. 37% this half, and we got to take them down from their 52%. That 52% has really hurt you. How can you stop them defensively? Well, you know, we've made a few Ooh. mistakes on rotations. And That's too easy. Scotty's so leaders. long, dog. And, uh, like his wingspan. A couple times they got some loose balls and got out on the break and scored some easy baskets. So you can take away the easy baskets. Uh, God! All right, uh, Mike Dunleavy says he, he missed everything. A few more. All right, Steve, and you saw another layup of the driving stuff variety by Scotty Pippen, followed by the worthy miss. And as we get started here in this third quarter, the Bulls continue to add to that lead. It is back to a 10-point ball. Worthy called for the foul. The Bulls outscored the Lakers 25-16 in the second quarter. As you check out the leading scores, Jordan 16, Devon says, 15 Lakers only five for 20 from the field in the second quarter at one stretch they missed nine in a row nice pass from Jordan and Grant that was beautiful of course Grant said that all right this is going to turn into a blowout and then this is going to turn into a blowout cutting slashing into the lane you cannot get caught behind the offense god dang what a great freaking finish but third baskets are too easy at now they're getting too easy but that was a tough finish, actually, by Horace Grant. NBC, the series at two. Michael Jordan, despite the toe injury, has hit seven of 13. He has 16 points, along with seven assists. Again, the Bulls force Perkins to handle it. Perkins, Devots, worthy up front. Johnson and Scott in the backcourt. They double up on Magic. Shot clock down to five. Here's Scott with the open shot. Yes! And the crowd going crazy. They said, thank God, Byron. Got the, if Byron could do a little bit more of that, then the Lakers would have a shot. The Lakers would love to see Byron Scott get started off that jump shot. The Bulls now lead by ten. The result of Chicago going for the steal, missing the best look that Scott's had in the basket in a long time. He had missed his previous ten, but Scotty Pippen with the answer. Too easy. And the Bulls lead by 12, and Scotty Pippen has opened up strong. He now has eight points. He's playing with three personal fouls. Perkins backing Grant. Shot clock at two. That go that hook. That go that little baby Scott hook. By ten with two minutes gone by in the third. Paxson shoot him. John Paxson has they don't miss. out of four. The execution of Y'all know how I feel about John. He really don't ever miss, dog. He don't know how. And then kick off to the spot up man for the shot. Worthy. You gotta make that worthy. You too close, dog. For 12. Perkins 0 for 7. Grant. God dang! position throughout the series. It's almost as if Perkins and Divots don't believe Horace that Grant eating them up. up over him because he gives away a few inches. It's his quickness and jumping ability that makes the difference. Illegal defense call for the first time. So that is the warning. The next one would result in a technical foul. Byron Scott with his first That don't make no sense, dog. Your first field goal in 115 minutes, dog. I know you guard Mike. I know it's the hardest job on the court, dog. But come, they, that don't make no sense, Byron. And I love you as a coach. That don't make no sense. Field goal in 115 minutes, 23 seconds. He was 0 for 8 in game three. He had missed his first two attempts today. 
Crowd getting a little restless Look, swing to the corner. To the oh my, never mind. Don't listen to me, Sam. To connect. Sam Perkins missed his first seven. 62-50, Chicago. Oh my God! I gotta see that one more time, George. You gotta at the crossover like that. You gotta hit that, bro. Byron ain't no worry. <laughs> he ain't no worry. Mike was Jesus. Look at this cross. Oh my God! That was sick. That was sick. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit that. Just when they have the opportunity to get the crowd into it, knock out the big shot, they roll in and roll out for the Lakers. That's Sniper. Sniper. I'm so surprised. Lakers trailing by 12. Four minutes gone by in the third. Perkins. Well, the Lakers continue to have their shooting problems. Good look. Again, beautiful lead on the hop thrown by Pippen. And Mike Dunleavy will talk it over. Time Lakers just can't make anything. They're getting easy looks, bro, but they just cannot make it. When Chicago's running, when Chicago's running, Lakers literally have no chance. Horace Grant's dominating around the basket. This one turned into a blowout. I'll take it. The two great guards down low in the yeah, they fight down there. Jones on the side. Coach Mike is going to pull this. Uh, all right, Steve. Interesting words from Mike Dunleavy. Well, you get to a point where you see in the players, you get the feel that the zip, okay, the, the fight isn't there. You have to turn to someone else to pick up the level of play. Died on the shot clock. Bulls by 14 with seven and a half remaining. In the third quarter. Magic nope. from downtown. Worthy kept it alive. And notice as soon as he got Magic. the ball on the outside, Paxson closed down on him. No open shots for Byron Scott. Evox open. And Pippen able to get to it. Nine rebounds for Scotty Pippen. Suddenly you see the Lakers pressing. Every shot now becomes an even bigger shot because they're having problems knocking them down. They're good looks, but they're not going in for them. Here's Pippen. And Cartwright gets the to it. The Bulls get the new 24. The defense. God. Okay, Magic. There you go, Jay. Yeah, I, I would have gave you that. A lot of these calls I've been against, but that one. Magic dipped his shoulder. Scotty Chess on that one, dog. That should have been going the other way. Johnny Bach very upset. One of the offensive foul. And it results in a Laker basket. Very easily could have been an offensive foul on Magic. Balls lead it by 12. Jordan able to recover. Paxson. Sniper. Oh, hold on. knows where Paxson is going to be each time down the floor. He makes a living off. Uh oh. Of the block. Was that who blocked them? See, I'm so glad they changed that rule. Gets to it first, Chicago. Vlade making the move off the dribble. One of the Horace Grant, man. But the defensive recovery of Chicago. He ain't having it. And then the loose ball, Jordan on the way. Magic says, "Nope, we gotta hold him up right here. No way for you." No, it should be a free throw. I'm so glad that's a free throw on the ball back now. Magic did not want to face Michael coming down one on one. To get him posterized, perhaps? Remember the talk of a contest between the two as Jordan is able to drill it home. Easy money. 66 52 lead. Easy talk money. A pay per view one on one showdown a year ago that would match Magic Johnson and. 
And Michael Jordan, of course, Michael Moore, a one-on-one -on -one player than, than Magic. Here's Scott. Okay, Barry. Second field goal, Bulls lead 66, 54, 520 remaining in the third. Well, we got Mike. Evans jumping out to help. The double. He's able to get back to their assignments. Nice. Shot clock, down to four. Here's Grant. Oh my God, missed everything. Good look. Oh, blocking foul. No, 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 no. Let me see a replay, cause I might be trip. I might be tripping. I might need to see a replay on that one. Ah, let me see a replay. In the beginning, Magic was pushing it out, pitching it ahead, but the great transition recovery. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Pitching ahead, but the great he... transition recovery. I don't know. He's already in his motion. And Paxson was still moving a bit while he was in his motion. Magic was pushing it out, pitching it ahead, but the great he's transition in his... See, recovery. Yeah, he's still... Paxson, he slid under him. Feet set. Ah. I think he kind of slid under him after... I won't say he left his feet yet, but he was already in his motion. I don't know. I don't. That was so. That's what y'all think. I guess it could go either way. It could go either way. All right, watch Paxson with the feet set. Feet no, set. I don't think. Oh my God! I'm calling a blocker foul, but it's a tough call. Sniper. Sniper. Why does he, like, why are you trapping off of John? I don't understand why you're trapping off of John Paxson, dog. Like, he will beat you like that all day. Mike will find him every time. He's going to hit that more times than not. Trap off of somebody else. Stop leaving Paxson. Four for seven. Nine points. Laker ball with 18 on the 24. Every time Jordan elevates, he just looks to the furthest point away from him and finds Paxson spotting up for the open shot. Unusual team, Chicago, whereas Jordan, the leading scorer in the league, and Pippen have the most assists for them in the playoffs. Shoot that, worthy. You got to make it, though, God dang it. Overall, six for 15. While Perkins only one for nine. We approach four minutes remaining in the third. Oh, that's a good back door. Oh, Lottie. One on the shot clock, Paxson. And back come the Lakers. And you can tell that Worthy is really struggling in the foot race with Pippen. Pippen to the ball first. Oh, good pump fake. Oh, but you didn't hit nothing, dog. The Bulls severely outplaying the Lakers in the second quarter. Same story here. In the third, Devons has 17 points. Lottie hooped it. Lakers. At some point, all five Lakers are going to get angry at the same time and understand, okay, the severe problems that they're having and where they are right now in this series. And when they do that, you're going to see a different Laker team out here. Sounds like Good a trap. Right. It is a 12-point Chicago lead as we go under three minutes remaining in the third. The Bulls hoping to make it a 3-1 advantage in the series. Lakers try to tie it at two. And Good block. The What's the call? The foul called on the Lakers. Six block shots for Chicago. Jumper. He couldn't get away that time. Divac with the reject. Great block. To save some easy scores for the Lakers. And the foul was called on Divac. Back after this timeout. With NBC, the cup. Zard, a near be sitting down at a poor shooting third quarter. Six for 15 overall. The Bulls with a 12 point lead. Good defense. 
Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, uh, he hit the back of the. Hey, it ain't nothing you can do, dog. You just gotta put your hands. He hit that shot. You just gotta put your hands up, and you play great defense. Ain't nothing you can do. That's just a tough shot. As he saw Devox approaching, uh, there's nothing you can do with him. He's uh, absolutely ridiculous when he gets into these type of uh, modes where everything is going in for him. His fades, his drives. The Lakers having huge problems now. Byron Scott called for the foul. You saw the, you saw the poor shooting by the Look L.A. This, Lakers. Man. They have died since midway through the second quarter. Jordan on the fade because he knows Dibots is coming after him here, so he has to get That's up just tough. over the top of the big man. I'll just back up a little bit and say goodbye as I knock mm. it out. We have been dealing with the poor shooting by the Lakers, and there's a pretty good reason for it, as you discussed right at the top. The Chicago Bulls defensively have been just magnificent. That uh, the case right throughout the regular season. They've stepped it up in the playoffs. Dibots. Good luck. And the Bulls lead at 70 58. A couple defensive stops, steals, block shots. The crowd will come alive. They'll get their break going. It'll get them back in the game. That's what the Lakers need. Caught right. Green with the tip. Perkins with the back tap. And the Bulls maintain possession. And this has been the story throughout the series for the Lakers. They just can't come up with the ball when they need it most. Jordan. He beat Teagle off the dribble and then was able to spin Devots. <laughs> Gotta make it. Back in. He is now one for five. The Bulls have a 14-point lead. Michael Jordan with 22 points despite the toe injury. There we go, Mike. Here's Jordan. I was about to say, dog. He would have made that. He has those long strides and the Yeah, that was nice. Jordan turning the corner down the lane. He that was nice. Long strides and the ultimate in concentration, anticipating Devots to step up, but he never came. This time, with his patented baseline move, the ability to hang is what makes the difference. Good call, bro. Jordan, two for two from the line. 22 and 11. Michael Jordan averaging better than 31 per game in the playoffs. Led the NBA in scoring for the fifth straight season. And he shot a career high 54%. played most of the way despite the jam toe. The Bulls by 16. It is their biggest lead of the game. Devots met on the mismatch by Paxson that he and uh -oh. Winston have some words. Frustration taking place right now. Divac just a foul on Cliff Levingston. Not going to give up a layup. Divac reacts. Frustration has set in with the Lakers. Cliff sending the message. What that happened? An inadvertent hit, and Divac did accept the apology. Just playing, just playing basketball. That's all. In the third. Perkins gets it back mm. out. So the Lakers mm. now with 20 seconds to go, third quarter. Devon saved that pass. Nope. Perkins had the three point attempt blocked. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Jordan checking the clock. Jordan shooting. Oh. Yeah, this is just about to be a blowout. It's about to be a blowout. Again, I mean, Lakers can't shoot from the perimeter. They're just not capable of it. If they can't post up, then they can't win. Point blank, period. <laughs> uh, but Chicago's defense definitely starting to amp up more. They keep leaving the sniper, John Paxson, open. Don't ask me why, because I still haven't figured it out. Um, Horace Grant 
playing huge. Mike hitting shots here and there. Uh, yeah, everybody just playing big right now. It's, Lakers just can't. They're just Chicago is just a better team. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up. Super Daniel out.